A dog is staying with some deer, the dog even sticks out its tongue and licks the fur of the deer affectionately, they look so friendly, what has actually happened? Why do a dog stay with deer, a day eleven years ago, as usual? The owner of the dog took it out for a walk and walked halfway, the dog suddenly started desperately running to the far side of the road, the owner had no choice but to follow the dog, the dog has clearly stopped in one place. It turned out that there was a wounded deer lying there, the dog must have smelled blood and ran over in a hurry, judging from the brake marks on the road, the deer should have been hit by a passing car and the driver did not stop if the dog owner goes away at this time. The deer may die, she couldn't bear it so she took the deer home but the dog owner has no experience in raising deers in order to take good care of it, the dog owner also read a lot of knowledge about the deer from the internet. But he didn't think that his payment could not catch up with the charm of his dog, the dog has been curious about the deer ever since he came into the house, always kissing the deer and keeping him warm. And the deer was also moved by this warm man to rub his head against it to express his gratitude. The two little guys became friends with each other not long after they met. Animals don't have so much trouble. Friends are friends. No need to borrow money. Don't compare. No grappling. Just have fun and play together. Under the care of the dog and the dog owner. The deer also recovers rapidly, less than a month, its wounds healed. During the recovery period, the deer followed the dog like a follower, after the body recovers. It even wants to, impersonate, the dog, it is such a pair of cute little animals who live a carefree life every day and never regard each other as, others, and then they have to face a cruel reality, that is the deer is a wild animal. According to the rules it cannot be kept in captivity, it has to go back to the forest, although the deer and the dog have become best friends and even eat, drink, live and travel together, they are still forced to separate after the deer completely recovered. The local animal protection organization took the deer and put it back into the forest, where it belongs to its home that I didn't know what the deer was thinking at the time, but the dog was very sad. It didn't know why he sent the deer away. It was sad for many days. Just when the dog owner thought he would never see the deer again, unexpectedly, one day soon, the deer appeared at the door of his house again that it turns out that the deer is also reluctant to bear this home. To be exact, it is not willing to bear the dog. The cross-species friendship between them cannot be easily given up, see the two little guys happy together, even the dog owner was moved and what happened next is naturally, the dog live at home and deer live in the wild but the deer can always come back to play with the dog. This friendship has been maintained for 11 years, every year the deer comes back to find its best friend, the dog, the two of them can be said to be pure friendship without any interest link and cherish the days with each other. During these 11 years, the deer grew up, became pregnant, and had children. It also brings the baby back to meet the dog as if it were meeting the god daddy. Dogs are also very fond of deer children, just like their own children, they will always play with them and groom them, the scene is very warm. Eleven years of human beings are not short and for them, it's more than half a lifetime, now the deer and the dog are old, they may not have another eleven years, whenever they meet again, they cherish the short time together. Seeing the smiles on their faces is like returning to that summer eleven years ago, being able to have each other in each other's lives is enough to warm a lifetime, we hope they can continue to live happily together in the next few days.